you can find it nearly everywhere, from pizza to detergents to ice cream, and even in biodiesel and instant noodles. In fact, 50% of packaged food items in American supermarkets contain it. But the steadily increasing demand for palm oil, not just in the United States but also around the world, threatens the future of wild orangutans. In Borneo, where the vast majority of orangutans live, the population has declined by 80% over the last 75 years. In this lesson, we present students with an environmental quandary to discuss and debate a case study about the best way to protect orangutans given the wave of deforestation shrinking the natural habitat in Southeast Asia. Then in the going further section, we suggest additional ideas for taking action to be responsible consumers, researching other environmental and human costs of palm oil production, and weighing the economic benefits of a multi-billion dollar industry against its costs. Blank underscore if you have only one or two class periods warm up for homework the night before ask students to look in their kitchens and find five or more products that contain palm oil in the list of ingredients. Then, in class ask students to share what they found as they looked at ingredient lists. Which products contain palm oil? Next, explain to students that palm oil is the most widely consumed vegetable oil on earth and that about half of all packaged supermarket products contain it, lipstick, ice cream, even packaged bread. You can also explain that the demand for palm oil is already high, and it's expected to triple by 2050. You can then tell students that in class today they are going to learn about some of the consequences of rapidly expanding palm oil production. Next, this 82-second video providing an introduction to the case study about orangutan protection. After ing, students should jot down anything they learned, then share those thoughts with the class. Activity am small groups, students should read the article A Refuge for Orangutans, and a quandary for environmentalists and look at the photos. Next, they should decide what they would do in this situation if they were environmentalists trying to protect orangutans and address these key questions should the Borneo or Orangutan Survival Foundation accept funding from a major Indonesian palm oil company to support its orangutan refuge does the collaboration let the palm oil company off the hook for its destruction of orangutan habitat or orangutan refuge is counterproductive in the end because the real goal should be to protect the remaining rainforest where our orangutans live in the wild or is working with the palm oil industry the best way forward to save orangutans. In the groups, students should make a list of all the reasons for or against working with the palm oil company to make this or orangutan refuge. Then they should try to come to a consensus as a group and write an argument defending the position using evidence from the article. If you have time, you can have groups present the positions to the whole class and then debate to discuss the real-life case study. To help students understand the problem, you may want to give each group a printout of these images Palm Oil Plantation, Palm Fruit, Borneo Map and Borneo Deforestation. Blank underscore going further related article Mark Lenahan Associated Press 1. Take a stand. Below, we present a range of choices consumers can make to try to protect the orangutan natural habitat, ranging from boycotting palm oil to pressuring the brands we buy to use only sustainable palm oil. Yet, even when we try to make a positive difference, the best course of action is not always clear. Have students work in small groups to research possible actions they can take as consumers, and then try to form a consensus on what they should do. The class can then hold a discussion on what decisions each group made, and why. Students can make a choice to actually follow through in their own lives on what they decided to do in class. Option 1. Stop buying products that contain palm oil. Given that so many supermarket items are made with palm oil, completely eliminating palm oil from your diet and household purchases will most likely be a challenge. Even then, there's an argument to be made against allowed palm oil boycotts. Joe Fassler writes in Smithsonian Magazine as destructive as the oil palm is to the environment, it may be better than the alternatives. No other crop can yield even a third as much oil per acre planted. And along with using less land, the oil palm gobbles up significantly fewer pesticides and chemical fertilizers than coconut, corn or any other vegetable oil source. Option 2. Reduce your consumption of palm oil or buy only sustainable palm oil. 
The official stance of the organization say no to palm oil ISWE think that consumers should focus on cutting down unnecessary consumption in general, thus removing some palm oil and other vegetable oils from the lifestyle. With products that are unavoidable, individuals can find alternatives that are either palm oil-free and instead use vegetable oil from a sustainable source, or contain genuinely certified sustainable palm oil. In fact, there is an organization, the Roundtable on Sustainable Palm Oil, that certifies palm oil produced in compliance with a set of environmental and social criteria. However, organizations like Greenpeace and the Rainforest Action Network complain that the organization's standards are not strong enough and that even certified sustainable palm oil can contribute to deforestation. Option 3 Voice your concerns to the brands you buy. Chances are, many of the brands you buy at the supermarket already have a publicized policy about how they use responsibly sourced palm oil. Here are just a few examples by General Mills maker of Nature Valley and haagen Mondelez International maker of Oreos and Ritz crackers and the J.M. Smacker Company maker of J.I.F. and Pillsbury. But, as this consumer guide produced by Conservation International points out, complexity and fragmentation in the palm oil supply chain present challenges to consumer goods manufacturers and retailers seeking to implement sustainable sourcing commitments. Contact one of the food brands you buy, either via social media, email a letter, and ask them about the palm oil sourcing policy and how they make sure they're purchasing only sustainable palm oil. Option 4. Educate your community about the dangers of irresponsibly produced palm oil. Lindsay Allen, the executive director at the Rainforest Action Network, published this letter to the editor in The Times in 2013 in response to the Food and Drug Administration's decision to ban trans fats. Taking inspiration from Ms. Allen's letter, students can create social media campaigns to spread the word about the dangers of unsustainable palm oil production. Option 5 Let Malaysia, Indonesia and the other nations where palm oil is produced regulate themselves. Palm oil plantations and farms support millions of people. This miracle crop has contributed to rapid economic development and has helped reduce rural poverty. The industry is expanding rapidly to meet worldwide demand, and history has shown that there are often necessary environmental costs to economic development. Blank 2. Research other environmental and human costs of irresponsible palm oil development. Belangkaraya, Indonesia, during the haze in 2015. A study estimated that 91,600 people in Indonesia, 6,500 in Malaysia and 2,200 in Singapore may have died prematurely because of exposure to fine particle pollution from burning forests. Related article Harris Sadikin Agents France Suppress Getty Images The rapid expansion of palm oil production in Southeast Asia doesn't only endanger our orangutans, but it also causes health problems for thousands of people, destroys virgin rainforests and contributes to climate change. Have students choose one or more of these articles to read, and then summarize what they learn for the rest of the class. Students can actually use this research with any of the other activities included in this lesson plan. Blazes in Southeast Asia may have led to deaths of over 100,000. Study says Indonesia's orangutans suffer as fires rage and businesses grow. Southeast Asia, choking on haze, struggles for a solution. Indonesia's palm oil industry rife with human rights abuses. Bloomberg The violent costs of the global palm oil boom. The New Yorker underscore blank 3 weigh the benefits of expanding palm oil production in Indonesia and Malaysia against the environmental and human costs. Palm oil certainly has a bad reputation among environmentalists. Nature calls it the world's most hated crop. Yet despite all the environmental and human costs discussed above, the expansion of palm oil has undeniably produced economic benefits for the countries where it is produced. The Zoological Society of London states on its Sustainability Policy Transparency Toolkit website Palm oil is one of the most profitable land uses in the tropics. For the main producing countries, palm oil can significantly contribute to national economies, driving rapid economic growth and contributing to the alleviation of rural poverty. Have students to research into the economic benefits of palm oil production in Indonesia, Malaysia and elsewhere, and then decide if the economic benefits outweigh the costs.